Hello everybody, it's time for our bite sized strength, which is our 15 minute little lovely chunk of exercise. And today we're going to be doing legs, uh, legs and bottoms. And because nothing works independently, we'll also be working our tummies a bit as well. The only bit of equipment you need, ideally, is a chair. Now, if you haven't got a chair there and you haven't got time to go off and get one, don't worry, you can do without, it's fine. But it's also quite useful if you have one. Hello, everybody, Claudia, Alex, Veronica. Um, so, hand weights, I'm not using mine. You could use yours if you wanted to because it would add a little bit extra weight to the whole procedure, which will make those legs work a bit harder. Hello, Jean and Joan and Felicia. So, important message, work at your own level. So some of you will want to work as quick as I'm working and dipping as low as I'm doing. Others might go lower, others might keep it more gentle. If you want to do the whole thing gently, that's absolutely fine. It's great to be doing something. Hello, Samantha, Samantha's back. Hello, Joan's back as well. Hi, Rachel, morning. Are you there? Have you got your children there? Is it just you on your own? Hi, Kaz. Hi, Kaz. Have you got your children there? I bet they're working, aren't they? Well, one's not there and whatever. So we're gonna get it going anyway. So, first of all, give yourselves a little shake out. Have a little march, because I want you to be warm. I'm gonna turn the volume up so I can hear it, because I'm shouting a bit this morning. Right, there we go, okay. So, give yourselves a little shake out. Have a little march. Little step tap. So this class is gonna be about 10 minutes of the actual work and a few minutes extra stretching at the end. Let's start with those feet wide. Ooh, little squats. Oh, Zara and Jensen are there. Hello, Zara. Hello, Jensen. I've missed you guys. You've been here all the time in the summer. Oh, school's getting in the way, isn't it? There we go. A bit lower. Yeah. Now bring those feet in a bit closer. Same thing. Down and up. So you young things, you can do as hard as you like. Us old crocs might keep it a bit more gentle. Okay, next squat, we're gonna bring these feet really close together. This is where the chair comes in. If you feel wobbly, hold onto your chair. That'll stop you falling over. Now I've got more uses for it though, so don't worry. And again, and again. Good, then this one. Oh, strange. So that's our ballet squat. Hello, Mary. So push those knees out, keeping our tummy muscles in. Two more. One more. Back to the beginning. Wide squats. So I want you to make sure you're sticking your bottom behind you. Your feet are staying flat on the floor. Great work for our knees. And again. Bring them back in this wide shoulder width. Down we go. Now if you want to, you can have your arms out front. If you've got hand weights, you can be using those here as well. I put mine away. <laughs> I've done enough of them today. Bring those feet really narrow. Remember, use a chair if you feel wobbly. That's it. Sit back into those heels. Good. Give me four more. Four. We've got the ballet ones to do, then we'll have a little rest. Ballet ones, turn those feet out. <laughs> Down. If this one doesn't suit you, do a normal one. Another four. Four. Three, two, last one. Oh, ha, ha. Give us like a little shake out. Someone was saying to me the other day, how many types of squats have you got? Hundreds. We're going to do a new one today. I'm going to have a chair here in case I feel wobbly because what we're going to do, one foot in front of the other. Can you see anything? One foot in front of the other. We go down and up. Yeah? We go down and up. So you can see my back leg, my heels raising. Now if you want to make this properly, this is called a prisoner squat. <laughs> I think the idea is that you have been captured by the enemy. Four, three, two, one more. I'm gonna change sides. Other leg's gonna be behind now. Here we go, down. So you can see this is different. One leg's doing more work than the other. It's tough. Hands behind your head. Go on, let's do it. Down. Try and keep those knees nice and central. Don't let them wibble side to side. If it's twinging, change to an ordinary squat. 
Two more. One more. Yeah, give your legs a shake out. Well done, everybody. Okay, next one's forward facing. Little side step and back. We like that. We did this a couple of weeks ago. We're going to do a little lift. Back. Now, if you find it confusing, just stand still and lift the leg. Okay, so that's the option. If you find it too tricky. Okay, and again. Look what's coming next. Knee. Knee. Now, I'm pulling in my tummy muscles. I'm not twisting my upper body yet. That will give you a clue what's coming next. And the march. Ooh. Step that way. You got it. Here we go, side lift. Ooh. So the idea is, I'm keeping my body very upright. Don't do this. Keep it here. Yes. Let's bring that knee forward. Up. As I bring it up, I'm really working my tummy. Give me another four, four, three, two, one. Lovely little march. The next one we're going to add into that is the leg behind, which is that movement behind. So when we do the step, I'm going to make sure I don't kick my chair. It's a step behind. Now I am leaning forward a little bit, so I just want you to get it right so you don't hurt yourself. Let's have a try. So it's step, behind, behind. As I take the leg behind, I'm clenching my, but my buttock. Behind, behind, yes. Little march. Ooh. Let's do it the other side. So it should be, that's it. <laughs> Gotta think about that this morning. And again. So it's kind of like trying to kick someone behind you. Don't kick anybody, Jensen. He wouldn't, would he, Zara? No. Two more. One more. Yes. Yeah. So we've got three moves. We're going to put them all together now. So side step. We're going to do four of each. Side leg. Four. Tummy up. Three. Two. Kneel it forward. Twist this time. Three, two, here comes that leg behind, remember, lean forward, forward, yes, little march, same thing going the other way, let's start with a little side step, Ooh. oh it's that much isn't it, sorry, <laughs> I was going to do the wrong leg then, that would have been very tiring, knee pump across, Two more to go. One more. Leg out behind. Here you go. Ooh. Push it. Two more. One more. Yes. Shake yourself out of it. Now, this is the next move is where this chair comes in. So, if you haven't got a chair, what I want you to do is this. Down, down, up, up. So we can all do that for a little bit. Down, down. So you go forwards. Bend your knees. Yeah. Now you're going to do it really slow. Up, up, slow. Ooh, that'll make those legs So that's your option if you don't have the chair. If you've got the chair, we're going to stand on it now. Slowly, carefully, use the side. So use the side as you come up. Are you ready? Nice slow step. So it's up, up, down, down. Up, up. So what we're doing here is we're really getting the body weight. You're using your legs to basically bench press your entire body weight. I'm still using the same leading leg, but I'm going to change it in a minute after this one. Now lead with your other leg. Up we go. Up. Now this is harder if you've got smaller legs. So if you're shorter, you might want to stay on the floor. And we did eight. This is four. Four more to go, same leg. Four. And down. Three. And down. Two. And down. One more. And 
down. Well done. How do we do? Not quite finished with the chair yet. Those of you without a chair, next time this is going to happen. Down, down, up. Then you're going to change leg. Down, down, up. So you're really crouching to get those thighs working. Perfect for hockey, Rachel. So, this time, one on your right leg, then one on your left leg. You ready? Here we go. Up, up. Change leg. Now I'm really concentrating because I don't want to fall off here. This is number four, we're going to do eight. Last four. Four. Hope you've got clean trainers on. You're not making a shoe mark on your chest. Two more. Last one. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well done. Shake those legs out. How are we feeling, everybody? Doing all right. Check and go away. Oh, take yourselves out. We have got lunges. Oh, you knew they were going to come, didn't you? Nice and gentle to begin with. So step forward. Again, you could use a chair just to stop yourself feeling wobbly. The thing I want you to be careful with, with lunges, is that your legs are coming forward. This is what I don't want to see. I don't want to see knees wobbling. Straight. Straight, yeah? Here we go. Good. You know I can't see you. Lunge behind, so concentrate. Don't kick anybody. Back you go. You might want to dip lower. You might not. This is our last sequence of exercises, by the way, everybody. You're nearly there. Forward and back. This leg. So go forward and back. Other leg. Forward and back. Do it again. Forward and back. Now keep going, but do you remember how we left that touch out before we went forward and then back? Now that requires very switched on tummy muscles. That's it, and again. Two more, can you manage two more? Hello, Auntie Pat. Are you there? And again. Okay, well done. Oh, shake your other legs out. Thighs aching. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on to your chair. Grab your foot. We are stretching now. So push those hips forward. I want you to feel the stretch on there. So sideways on. My knees are together. And I'm pushing my hips forward. Slightly out of breath. <laughs> Hold it there. I'm warm. A little bit longer. Oh, yeah. Change legs. There we go. Up it comes. Oh, sorry, guys. I was going around in a circle then, didn't I? <laughs> that wasn't part of the exercise. There we go. Put it there. Hips forward. Push those hips. Relax your shoulders. Leave it a little bit longer if you can. Excellent. Now, those of you with a chair, well, I'll give you two choices. Without a chair. Yep. With a chair. Okay, so it's just a more intense stretch. So I'm pushing forward. Not only am I getting a bit of a calf stretch there, but I'm getting a stretch around my hips. So hold it there for me. Yeah, good. Now, look what changes. So I've slipped backwards into a hamstring stretch. Four options is there. Chair option is here. And you sit back, everybody. Ooh. That's a cracker, isn't it? Other leg. Up it comes for that push forward. I'm trying to put my tummy in. So I've got control still. Hold it there. Well done, everybody. Let's sit back. Heel in. Sit back. Ooh. Lovely, lovely stretch there. Breathe. That's a little bit longer. Oh. Fantastic. Give those legs a shake out, everybody. Have a little march to me. And then march you here. Let's go back again. So a little bit of a cool down. Do not be surprised if your legs are a bit tired later. We've worked them really hard. Step to the side. 
well done everyone. So we're almost finished with this one. We've got one more day of classes tomorrow, then you've got the weekend. And then we're back into it next week. So as always, if there's something you'd like to see, if there's a different slant on any classes you'd like, tell me. I am sticking with the morning slot, so don't ask me for evenings, because I won't be doing evenings. Um, but I, you can obviously watch the videos in the evenings. Okay, give those legs a shake out. Oh, 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 oh. Big breath in. Exhale. And again, big breath in. And an exhale. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Lovely to have Jensen and Zara and Rachel back. It's nice to see you guys. Any queries, contact me. Have a look at all the stuff that's on the website. There's lots on there. I say website, I mean Facebook page. There's lots of stuff on there. Um, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, I hope. Bye, everybody.